different kind, and that means seeing their team maintain their push for promotion. Gary Monk has finally brought calm to the chaos that has surrounded the club for far too long, and the dream of a top-flight return is now very much alive. Two days win over promotion rivals Reading, perhaps another sign that they might finally be on their way back. Well, today they meet a Brentford team who, only a fortnight ago, crashed to a fourth straight defeat, which cranked up the pressure on their boss, Dean Smith. But they come here aiming for a third win in a week. Well, let's have a look at the league table for you. Leeds hoping to keep in the top six, but there are several teams snapping at their heels. Sheffield Wednesday, Birmingham and Fulham will be hoping Brentford can do them a favour today. Well, the Bees are eight places and seven points behind Leeds ahead of kick-off, but can easily put themselves back in the mix if they can have a successful festive period. Well, expectations have been raised here in recent weeks. 12 years since Leeds United were in the top flights of English football. But the fans are daring to dream that this might be their year. And they have been through the mill, I think it's fair to say. That's putting it politely over the last decade or so, but they are a team that many feel should be in the biggest league of all. And Leeds United have been performing very well in front of their own fans as well this season. Gary Monk feels a connection has been made between players and supporters. And they've certainly appreciated what Gary Monk has done. He was under pressure after the first few games, but uh, many people were thinking that Massimo Cellino might get an itchy trigger finger again, but um, he stayed patient, stuck behind his manager. And Leeds United finally, on the pitch at least, have some stability. And Brentford upset their rhythm here today. Their confidence will be high after back-to-back -back wins. Dean Smith knows the kind of challenge his team are up against today, but has backed them to rise to that challenge. Let's have a look at the team use. For well, two managers who know each other extremely well from their playing days. Gary Monk and Dean Smith spent time together just down the road at Sheffield Wednesday. Who will be laughing last at a quarter to five? Here's Gary Monk finally the man to get it right at Leeds United where so many others before him have failed there is a feeling at last that brighter times are ahead for Leeds United well, both of these matches last season finished one all Brentford led in both today's match referee Taking charge of things today is Darren Bond. Great atmosphere at Ellen Road this season. Marching on together, ringing around Ellen Road, the famous chant. Kyle Bartley and Harley Dean, the two captains today. Well, he feels that his team can certainly step up to the plate today. He knows he'll be up against a vociferous crowd, but having already played at Newcastle and at Brighton, winning at Brighton, incidentally, he feels his team can do the business here today. Brentford in a group huddle. Leeds doing the same. Such a crucial part of the season, this, the festive programme. Things can change very quickly, for better or for worse. And this is Leeds United's final home game of the calendar year, and they are determined to finish on a high. So the final game before Christmas. There is Kimar Roof. Marcus Antonsen is on the bench. Overlooked again. He would have been a more like-for-like -like replacement for Chris Wood today. Imar Roof, who scored lots of goals for Oxford last season. He did take time to settle into life in the Championship. It is a big step up. Can he add to the single goal 
that he's got today, Kimar Roof. But the absence of Chris Wood will be felt. Leeds have never lost a game in which Chris Wood had previously scored in for them. Leeds all in white. And looking to build on what was a marvellous win against Reading in the week. It really raised expectations even more. They had just 23% possession in that win over Reading, but they were far more ruthless with the ball at their feet. Whilst Brentford themselves enjoyed success away at Bristol City. So both teams coming into this full of confidence. Early free kick here for Brentford. Daniel Bentley to take it. Here's Woods. Now Pontus Janssen, who really has become a cult figure since coming in on loan from Torino. Here's Roof, watched closely by Woods. Now Charlie Taylor. Calvin Phillips, who's having a fine season playing for his hometown club. Got sent off at Brighton eight days ago, so had to miss the uh, game against Reading in the week. Luke Ailey. Sacco making a move ahead of him. And Tom Field is there to cut it out. Well, he's impressed as well. He's coming in. From Bristol City in the summer, Luke Ayling loves to go raiding down the right flank. Something that I'm sure Brentford will be aware of today. Here he is on the ball, Luke Ayling. Looking to bring Charlie, Charlie Taylor into it, but cut out by Collar. A chance for Brentford to get themselves up the pitch. This is Romain Sawyers. Harley Dean, and now Egan. Aimed at Hogan, dealt with by Luke Ayling. Dukara. Ayling again. Kumar Roof in pursuit of this. Intelligent header from Harley Dean. And Collan looking to tear away down the right. The Frenchman who... Joined from Anderlecht last year. And the Danish international, Andreas Bjelland, finding Harley Dean. Three away wins for Brentford this season. I mentioned that win at Brighton and Bristol City. QPR is the other ground in which they've won at this season. Colin the target, and Harley Dean has found him. Romain Sawyers, who played a big part in that win at Bristol City in the week. Colin against Taylor. Now Sawyers. Yanaris trying to lift it over the top for Lassa Vibe. Amazing to think that Leeds United have not finished in the top half of the championship for five years. They've reached the playoff final only once since being relegated back in 2004. Finished 13th last season. Gary Monk has stated this week that he will be hoping to strengthen in January with another striker at the top of his shopping list. We have relied a lot on the goals of Chris Wood this season. Phillips selling the pass short for Sacco. Fields ball down the line was intended for Scott Hogan. Will he be still at Brentford in January? Those who follow Brentford closely think not. If you are scoring goals on a regular basis, clubs will always be circling. Scott Hogan has 13 for the season. Ailey. Dukara. Trying to return the compliment. It got there by hook or by crook. This is Sacco. This is where he's dangerous, running at defenders. In the end, he ran into traffic. Sawyers suddenly opens up for Brentford. That's a clever ball for Hogan. Vibe making a move into the area. 
Yanaris getting in there also. Hogan failing to find a teammate. And this is Stuart Dallas against his former club, of course. He's getting Dakara in behind, but Dakara not beating the offside flag. And he was a scorer in the week. Suleiman Dakara from the penalty spot. Three goals in total this campaign. Leeds United haven't beaten Brentford in a league game for 62 years, admittedly. It's not been a regular meeting on the fixture list since then. Brentford, Brentford's recent record against Leeds is very good. And beaten in their last six games against them. Two wins, four draws. They themselves went through a difficult time with managers last season. Three different men in charge. Ernest Dijkhausen didn't last very long. And Lee Carsley took the reins before Dean Smith took over from him. Woods with this Brentford free kick. Leave it in by Egan now. And Janssen, no nonsense defending from him, winning it for a second time. And Sacco will chase this down. Yanaris getting it back to his keeper. And misplaced ball there from Calvin Phillips. And Sawyers rather rushed it. Calvin Phillips. Be breathing a sigh of relief, having given the ball away in the middle of the park like that. Dakara. Almost squeezed out of things, but he's got the power to hold off two challenges. Rob Green, who turns 37 next month. A keeper who, at times this season, has been under a lot of scrutiny. Here's Dallas. Taylor down the line if he wants him. He's ignored, tossed in towards Dukara. Can't get on the end of it, though. Brentford have lost two of their last three away games. We were there when they were spanked at Norwich just a couple of weeks ago, 5-0. They've also been defeated at Blackburn. Pressure really was on Dean Smith after that defeat at Norwich, certainly from the outside, if not inside the club. But in fairness, his players have recovered well since, winning their last two. What a great kick from Daniel Bentley. And he's getting a fair amount of grief from the fans behind the goal. Taylor finding Roof. Phillips. Dallas faced by Maxime Collat. Looks for the give and go and gets it. All right, well defended by Collat, recovered well. That's why he is attracting a fair amount of attention from elsewhere, Maxime Collan. He's put in some very solid displays this season. Dallas, though, had the run on him, but did well to reclaim the ball. Janssen. Under pressure from Hogan, but he's dealt with that comfortably enough. Taylor. Now Ronaldo Vieira. No pressure, is there, with a name like that? And his uh, twin brother, Romario, incidentally, is in the club's academy. So a lot of expectation for those two to deliver. Bentley managing to hoist it away before Dakara can get there. Sacco tussling with Tom Field. 
Leeds throw. Six wins from their last eight league games at home. Allen Road is fast becoming a fortress once again. It hasn't been in recent years. Teams far too often have had things their own way, visiting teams, that is, when they've come here. Not quite the same story these days. Here's Dallas. And now Phillips. Collan with a block, and suddenly Brentford are away. Collan and straight into Ronaldo Vieira. He finds Sacco with a peach of a pass. This is Ryan Woods, who was known as the Ginger Perlow of his former club Shrewsbury. Soyuz, Vibe. Janssen. One goal to his name, the Swedish international. He has been borrowed from Torino, but has uh, made it known that he wants to make that move permanent. Collar spotted a gap, but couldn't quite move through it. Bailey, Sacco again on his bike. And field with a very important touch. Sacco would have been in the clear. It has been a terrific outlet for Leeds United, Paddy Sacco. He can frustrate at times with his final ball, but on his day, he can terrorise defences. His pace poses a real problem for opposition teams. There's Collat. Bjelland, who hardly saw any game time last season, a serious knee injury ruled him out for pretty much the entire campaign. And Leeds pressing Brentford here. Nowhere to go, Bentley has to go long. Soyuz. Janssen in firmly on Maxime Collat. A bad looking ball for Dakara. Has he got the legs to beat Tom Field to it? He has done, and that's nice. Sacco arriving. Adi Sacco's ball in. First corner of the match for Leeds. Well, Dakara has a little glance over his shoulder. He knows that Sacco's coming in. Final ball wasn't the best, which we alluded to just a couple of moments ago, but. Leeds will settle for the corner. Charlie Taylor over this corner for Leeds. The height of Janssen and Bartley are in there. It's Sacco, who goes beyond Vipe. A chance potentially of a Brentford counter, but the clearance wasn't the best, and this is Kimar Roof. He's forced wide by Maxine Collan, back for Dallas who shanks it over the top. Well, oh, Brentford causing their own problems. Ryan Woods playing the ball straight off Phillips. Pinballs around. Kimar Roof teeing up Dallas, who skies one over the bar. He has failed to score this season. Stuart Dallas, he got five last season. And look how high Leeds are pressing their opponents here. Right on top of the three centre backs are Dukara, Roof, and Dallas. Trying to force their opponents to kick it long.
Ailey. Barley back to Rob Green and Hogan. Not too far away from him. Ailing's touch was a little heavy. Breaks kindly here for Sawyers. This is Vibe, striking opportunity. And decided to take it with the outside of the right boot. When shooting with the left might have been the better option. But again, it came from a mistake. And Vibe obviously feeling more comfortable with his right foot. It's an easy save for Rob Green in the end. It leads are very quickly down at the other end of the pitch. Dakara finding Sacco. Wicked ball in, Roof was coming in. Good goalkeeping from Bentley. But what a delicious cross it was. Perhaps that was a situation where Leeds would have benefited from having Chris Wood in there. More of a physical presence. Not top for Leeds, but absent today. Ailey. Dukara. Woods coming in. Free kick given Brentford's way. And here's White. Well, this is the cross, actually, from Sacco. Beautiful ball in. Roof coming in round the back of Egan and Bentley taking charge and doing what his manager would have expected him to do. This is Charlie Taylor. Also might be on the move in the January transfer window. I did have that transfer request rejected in the summer, but given how well Leeds are doing, he might decide to stick around. Newcastle and West Brom, just two clubs linked. Can't see him going to Newcastle. I'm not so sure Leeds would allow him to go to a promotion rival. Janssen's header given straight away to Lassa Vibe. Leeds aiming for a third successive home win. They've beaten Aston Villa and Reading both by the same scoreline, 2-0. Linares just brushing Sacco off the ball. Soyuz. Now Tom Field. Another good cross, Hogan behind it. Made a clever run across the front, Scott Hogan. He does have brilliant movement. Able to pick his spot there, but difficult to generate the power. Roof. Sacco chasing it down. Field under pressure. Just out of reach of Scott Hogan. He is highly rated, though. Tom Field, only 19 years of age. Come through the ranks at Brentford. Big future predicted for him. This is Janssen for Leeds. Taylor. Now Ailey. Sacco. Trying to flick it round Tom Field, who was uh, able to snuff it out. of Harry Sacco is going to get to that before it runs behind. On loan from Sporting. 
Adi Sacco. Started his career in France with Bordeaux. lose four of their first six league games. Leeds United, their worst start to a campaign since 1981. But, uh, that is firmly behind them now. And very much looking up rather than down, but they will be aware that there are several teams snapping at their heels to get into those playoff positions. Phillips stealing it off Unaris and feeding Dakara. Sacco is up with him. Dakara trying to get beyond Bieland and he's managed to do it. Tried to find Roof, he was unlocking. Phillips, Sacco. Hoisted clear by Bieland. Charlie Taylor, Dallas, Vieira, quite sure what he was attempting there, but he failed, whatever it was. And Brentford will be hoping to get some of their long-term injuries cleared up and back out there. Alan Judge, of course, is a huge miss for them. Lewis McLeod as well on the treatment table. Two big players for them. This is Lassa Vibe. 14 goals for him last season, but only got a couple this time round. Egan. Woods, Sawyers, Brentford inching their way forward, Bjelland. This is Maxine Collat, Vibe. Oh, enjoyed a spell with a ball at their feet, but haven't really progressed anywhere with it. Harley Dean. Now Yanaris. Field. Yanaris again. Good first touch. Decent hit. Reflected wide for the corner. And that was positive from Nico Yanaris. First touch gets him away from Phillips. And Ronaldo Vieira blocking the shot. All three centre backs gone forward for this Woods to take it's deep great handling from Rob Green which hasn't always been said this season has been at fault for a couple of goals Kyle Bartley Jansen Luke Ailing. Terrific ball forward onto Sacco. Cleared by Tom Field. Woods forced back by Ailing. Struggling to shake him off as well. Four minutes of the first half played. No goals. And chances so far at a premium. Leeds have had a couple of openings. Nothing you would describe as clear cut though. And Scott Hogan penalised for a nudge on Luke Ayling by the looks of it.
Brentford needing to be firm and strong here. Taylor swings it in. Bentley's coming, making sure he got to it. Phillips. He's got Romain Sawyers to contend with. Now here's Woods. Able to get round Ronaldo Vieira. He really did impress in pre season, Ronaldo Vieira. Played in a game against Atalanta. Fought Gary Monk's eye. And here he is, fully established in the League United first team. And Green kicking out towards Ailey. That's a come back a long way to get there. Chasing this one down. Not his header, but uh, the whistle had gone. It's a Brentford ball. Actually made a very solid start to the campaign, actually. Being just twice in their opening eight league matches. And last season, we're one of the highest scorers in the championship. 72 and 78 the season before that. very well from his time at Walsall. Vicaro sliding in, won the ball, but he didn't catch some of Andreas Bjelland. There's absolutely nothing malicious in that, I don't think. First view, and just a robust challenge from Dukara. He's full-blooded, but he did get the ball. He is a handful. Not a man to cross. To Amanda Cara. <laughs> Collar. Egan. <laughs> Bjelland trying to set Yanaris on his way. Really come to the boil yet this match. Roof. Dallas. This is Charlie Taylor. Phillips. Roof tangling with Woods. The referee was watching a pair of those very carefully. Bartley. <laughs> Phillips getting clipped by Vibe. Thought he might have uh, played the advantage here. Sacco. Yelland taking it back for Brentford. Hogan's flick. Mopped up by Janssen. That's a 
misplaced pass from Ailing. Straight to Romain Sawyers. Woods going long. It seems very condensed into the middle third this match at the moment. We've seen a great deal of cut and thrust in the danger areas from either team as yet. Now, Vibe up against Bartley. He's forced the corner. by Woods, beats everybody. That'll be a real source of disappointment for Dean Smith. A wasteful corner from Ryan Woods. Dean coming and winning it. Hogan feeding Vibe. It's not on the same page. Bialan gets a hand in the face there from Dakara. Brentford will certainly be the happier of the two teams at the moment. Managing for the most part to keep Leeds at arm's length. We are trying to dampen the crowd here. As Woods lifts one over the top and Hogan is onside. Vibe making a run into the near post for him. Sawyers, Harley Dean, comfortable for Rob Green. Bielan coming and winning this one, Yanaris. And again, Bielan into Sawyers. Well, that's a really good chance. Really good approach play this, and Sawyers will be disappointed that he's not at least hit the target, although the sight of a flying Charlie Taylor just in front of him might have been a distraction. Nevertheless, encouraging signs for Brentford. Ailing. Taylor's had a roof. Phillips. Ailing. To Stuart Dallas, Sacco. Shot to the deck by Tom Field. Well, there are, there are pockets of noise around the stadium, but it's hardly the Tub thump, tub thumping atmosphere that was evident at the start. Perhaps the fans waiting for their team to turn on the style here. And Janssen will be an obvious target. Bartley also. And Charlie Taylor find either of them or anybody else in white for that matter oh, 
Harkin Goldwards. Brentford keeping the door closed. This is Woods. Mailing beating Hogan to the ball. Here's Sawyers. It's Romain Sawyers. Excellent block from Janssen. And Charlie Taylor tidying things up. He made that himself, Romain Sawyers. And himself surrounded in the end. Kyle Bartley. Ailing. Janssen to carry leads forward. Charlie Taylor. Sawyer's going across to him. Not a bad ball in. It's a little too close for Daniel Bentley. He's a big feature of Charlie Taylor's game, getting forward. Overlapping. Eight minutes to go to half-time. Still goalless at Allen Road. Bialant. There's Taylor for Leeds, Phillips. Nice aim was Calvin Phillips. He has been terrific for Leeds this season, though. 21, but uh, playing with a lot of maturity. Here's Soyuz. Now Yanaris. Woods. It's a game that lacks quality. Two teams highly competitive, no question about that. It uh, appears to be cancelling each other out at the moment. Ailing. Now Janssen. Roof in the eyes of the referee anyway, getting a nudge in the back from Egan. And the flag up here on Dallas. Well, excitement in short supply. Setting straight out from Daniel Bentley. Dakara. These will try and come out on the opposite side now with Ailing. Roof. Yelland for company. He's done well to find Dallas, but the field gets a touch to it. And Vibe gets tricked. Tries to spin away quickly 
from Ronaldo Vieira. Sufficient contact to bring Vive down. on set piece duty over the top it goes for Vibe and Hogan flag is up celebrations cut very short Hogan ruled offside you can see there right at the very start of that free kick he's began in an offside position and ultimately looks across the line and uh, ends up left disappointed. Only thought he bagged his 14th of the season there, Scott Hogan. Vibe. Sawyers racing to his right in support. Here is Sawyers. Woods. Nobody there. That's a miss kick though from Sacco, which might present Brentford with another opportunity. Woods, Bjelland, Dean, Egan, Sawyers for Maxime Collan, nudge through for Yanaris, Hogan waiting for a cross. It will be a corner. The very fact that Brentford have had the ball in the net. Perhaps as uh, Ray's belief, they can take this game to Leeds. This is the offside goal again. It's difficult to tell from that angle. I don't think it has anything to do with Hogan being in an offside position when the free kick is taken. I think it's rather more when he receives the ball. But he had a better view than anybody else. In goes the corner. As it comes to Yanaris. Collan and cleared by Ailing. Soyuz should be Rob Greens and is Woods nicking the ball away from Hadi Sacco, who's now operating down the down the left rather than the right. Him and uh, Stuart Dallas have had a swap round. Vieira, Kimar Roof buys himself some room. And sends Sacco away, Dukara moving into the box. Dallas getting in there also. Turn back here for Kimar Roof, shooting opportunity, deflected and wide. It's a corner for Leeds. Have plenty of time to decide what to do. And uh, John Egan with the block. Oh, there is some applause from Brentford fans towards Stuart Dallas as he goes over to take this corner kick. Three years he spent as a beat. Oh, five white shirts in the Brentford box here. And Dallas pulls it in towards Taylor. We just lost sight of it. Obviously rehearsed on the training ground, that one. This is the offside flag against Hogan. It's very tight, but I think possibly he is just offside. Janssen. Taylor. Last minute of the half before additional time is shown. Bartley. Sacco. One minute added on at the end of the half. It can only get better, can't it? to uh, 
raise their game a bit more if they are intent on finishing in their last home game of the calendar year with a win. Brentford, I think, will be extremely satisfied. They've uh, kept the ball out of harm's way. Bartley towering above Yanaris. Well, a half short on entertainment. Brentford did have the ball in the net, ruled out for offside against Scott Hogan. Leeds got themselves into some promising positions, but uh, both teams lacking a cutting edge in this one. And at the break, it is goalless between them. Leeds United nil, Brentford nil. The first half was a Christmas present. I think you'd have handed it back. But at least the uh, half-time entertainment was mildly entertaining. A chap on his stag do dressed as a traffic cone, trying to score penalties after being asked to spin round the ball on several occasions. He didn't manage it. Well, his team have been flat. He's listening to uh, one or two former players, most notably the legendary Eddie Gray at half-time in the press room here. His leads are well short of their recent standards. I have to say, though, Brentford, as that first half wore on, grew in stature, grew in confidence. So a big 45 minutes here for Leeds United in front of their own fans if they are intent on holding on to sixth position in the championship table. And there's Brentford... All in black, kicking from left to right in this second half. It is as you were, no changes for either team at the break. Charlie Taylor being hounded down by a combination of Vibe and Hogan, and Hogan moving through into the area, they're looking for a penalty. Falls on deaf ears, I think it would have been very, very soft had that one been given, but Brentford Trying to fly out of the blocks at the start of this second half. Hogan pushes it beyond Janssen while well, the arm comes out. Let's have another look from this angle here. Well, I think he would have been extremely fortunate to have got that, Scott Hogan. But a warning to Leeds as to how dangerous he can be. Now, Ailing has uh, lost control of the ball. Andreas Bjelland with this Brentford throw. Vibe. Well, Dean Smith isn't coming here to try and entertain the Leeds fans, that's for sure. He's come here with a game plan to try and get a positive result. And uh, fair play, so far it appears to be working. Leeds haven't really caused them a problem as yet. And let's remember a Leeds team who have been flying in recent weeks. But uh, Brentford have managed to snuff them out. And on another day, might have been in front. Woods and Sawyers. Surveying the scene, it will be Ryan Woods to take this Brentford free kick. Woods swings it in. Oh, and Janssen got his head to it. Oh, it's gone behind for the corner. I don't think Janssen knew where that one was going, despite the uh, smile on his face. Perhaps a nervous smile here from Pontus Janssen. Rob Green watching it go by. Fields corner, Janssen again heading clear. And Sacco will chase this down with Maxine Collat. 
Collected by Kimar Roof. Charlie Taylor. Taylor looking for Dallas. Egan getting it back to Beckley. Phillips. He was ailing, got nobody down the line as yet. Has to come in field. Janssen. Well, obviously, Leeds missing that aerial presence of Chris Wood today, which kind of rules out Leeds getting it forward quickly. They've got to be a bit more patient in their build up play. Bartley up to Dakara. He'll certainly do all he can to add a physical presence up there for Leeds. Good advantage played by the referee. And Dakara did well to shake off a couple of challenges. Brings Taylor into things now. Oh, he's made a mess of the cross. And after all that hard work from Suleiman Dakara. And he's let down by Charlie Taylor's cross. He's just got too much power for Harley Dean. Just keeps on going. Use the ball well to find Charlie Taylor. He's a powerhouse, Suleiman Dakara. Here's Dakara again, this time giving the ball away to Yanaris. That's a nice little ball into Hogan. Oh, and Bartley tugs him back. There could be a card here. I think there will be for Kyle Bartley. Well, Hogan shows him a clean pair of heels, and I think that's what's called taking one for the team. Kyle Bartley is the first into the notebook. 25,134 is the crowd at Ellen Road. Most of which haven't been able to get overly excited. <laughs> Woods clips it in. And through it goes to Rob Green. Harley Dean was certainly challenging for that ball. How much contact he made is debatable. But certainly he was in the thick of things there. Here's Ailing. And Brentford are closing off all of the available avenues for Leeds here. Who need a spark from somewhere, somebody to and open Brentford up. Ailing. Kumar Roof looking to get there. Flag up on him anyway. Well, the assistant on that side made a big call in the first half. It did look very tight when uh, Scott Hogan put the ball in the net for Brentford. But, uh, he had a fantastic view across the line. fans trying to do their bit and uh, lift their team they need lifting here Sawyer's challenging Charlie Taylor here's Sawyer's v -bag. Phillips snapping at him eventually bundled over by Ronaldo Vieira
push in the back of the Dane. Woods to take. Looking for Soyuz. This will drop kindly for Harley Dean. Free header for Egan. Miscues it. Well, 12 yards out, John Egan. Standing position. Unable to generate the right kind of power here. And sends his header dribbling wide of Rob Green's left hand post. Stuart Dallas. Charlie Taylor almost giving the ball away to Woods and Kimar Roof. Attempting to steer it through the centre for Hadi Sacco. Here's Woods. Sawyers. And now Tom Field. It's a nice idea from Romain Sawyers, but uh, his radar was slightly off. Trying to find Maxime Connor. This is far from a Christmas cracker. from the pitch the uh, takeover of the club appears to be getting closer Andrea Radrizana set to take control from Massimo Cellino of course starts that ban from football in February of next year here's Woods Harley Dean if any team looks like scoring, it is the visitors in this, Bjelland. Harley Dean, who's up there. And a shake off Kyle Bartley, still looking to burrow his way through. Cleared by Phillips, comes straight back at the home side, Collin. Takes the challenge of Dallas to take the heat out of the Brentford attack. Leeds are lining up a change. Gaetano Berardi is ready for action. Calvin Phillips. Ailing. Bukara. Ailing again can take charge. It's a lovely ball through for Roof, who's offside. More frustration at the sight of that particular offside flag. He is off, it is right. And here comes that Leeds change. And Charlie Taylor making way, presumably, must have a knock or something, because uh, Berardi... Uh, it's come on like for like for him. Meanwhile, Bentley lining up this free kick for Brentford. It's been a frustrating campaign. Or Gaetano Berardi, who's just come on, got injured in the opening game against Queen's Park Rangers. And he started a couple of games since then. He was a regular fixture in the Leeds lineup last season.
Can anybody take this game by the scruff of the neck? Ailing can't go back to his keeper. That avenue was closed off by Scott Hogan. The Leeds have won six games at home this season. They managed seven in the entirety of the last campaign, so they're well on their way to bettering that. But if they're to make it a seventh home win, they've got to do an awful lot more than they're doing at the moment. Another change being readied, that is Liam Bridcut, who was uh, thrown into the action as a substitute the other night when Chris Wood went off much earlier and Gary Monk wanted to uh, reintroduce him to first-team football. Mailing's clearance. But Leeds at the moment struggling to get out of their own half and short on ideas. Berardi. Take nothing away from Brentford, it's been a well-drilled, disciplined performance, as I mentioned earlier on. It's not their job to come here and entertain the Leeds crowd. Dean Smith desperately trying to get his team up into the top half of the championship table. And they are upwardly mobile at the moment after that disastrous run of four consecutive defeats and that 5-0 thrashing at Norwich. But, uh, they've responded really well with back-to-back -back wins. Janssen's header, Dukara. Conan going after him. As Egan's touch in the end, that did the necessary. An hour gone, no goal to Ellen Road, and quite frankly, the chances of seeing one look pretty slim. Dukara's flip, Dallas in behind here. Can he make the most of this? Well, it's been put behind by Harley Dean for a Leeds corner. Safety first from the B skipper. Just gets half a yard there, Stuart Dallas. Probably behind by Harley Dean. Dallas delivers. Taken down beautifully by Ailing. Well, the first touch was excellent, the second, not so much. Failed to keep his shot down. Terrific control to set himself up. And then lashes the ball over the bar. But a rare opening in this game for Leeds United. Well, the F-word is very much the order of the day. Frustration. Berardi's throw. Bartley. Ailing is the outlet once more. So Sacco. Ran out of room. Perhaps not the time to be trying the trick in the corner. Yeah, tries the trick. Might have been smarter, just trying to get round his man here. And uh, that has been the problem for Hadi Sacco in parts of this season. He has divided opinion. And he can be terrific to watch, but incredibly frustrating to watch at the same time. He needs to find some consistency. Oh, 
uh, so far for his team. It's looking pretty good, the outlook here, because they're managing to frustrate their opponents. And they might just feel they can pinch something here, Brentford. Certainly a game that's there for the taking. Here's Egan. Phillips getting there ahead of Yanaris. Dallas. Dallas again. Runs away from him. Brentford throw. Well, a great chance in the first half, actually, Stuart Dallas to uh, open his account for the season against his old club. Didn't take it. Here's Vieira. Ailing again. He's got through a lot of work down that right-hand side, Luke Ailing. The reason why uh, he's impressed this season, he's got a terrific engine on him. He is offering the threat for Leeds at the moment from right back, Luke Ailing. Not happy that Bieland is stalling over the throw. Hammered away by Berardi. Phillips. Snuffed out there by Collat. Janssen being watched very closely by Lasavibe, and the error has been forced. Maxine Collat doubled up here, but finding Vibe, who finds Janaris. Pocket picked by Dallas. Now that is a good-looking ball for Dakara, who's in the clear here. Is this the moment for Leeds? It's Dakara. It's been that kind of day. Fabulous ball from Stuart Dallas outside of the right boot. Dakara. Driving into the middle, tries to find the far post but fails. It is Leeds' best opening of the match. And Dakara unable to take it. And he knows it was a good chance, Suleiman Dakara. And again, the crowd are getting a little bit restless with the amount of time that Bentley's taking over the goal kick. Bartley and Ailing almost getting in each other's way. And it's an obvious thing to say that Leeds have missed Chris Wood, but even he might have struggled today because there's been a distinct lack of service coming in. Might do now here with Ailing. And the corner has been prevented. He is Leeds' his best player at the moment. Always trying to be positive, Luke Ayling. Cleared by Bjelland. Janssen. Berardi. There's Phillips. For trying to push their host back and succeeding in doing so. Collan, it's a loose ball, pounced on by Phillips. That is a terrific pass. What a peach of a ball that was. Cleared away by Field. We've got a corner from it. Terrific ball, though, from Calvin Phillips.
Dallas goes short. Sacco driving for the line. Oh, and Bentley forced to tip it away at the near post. Did well, actually, to uh, make sure he didn't cause any further problems. Phillips. And again, this time it's Woods who comes away with it. Soyuz. Bjelland. This is Hogan. Promise here for Brentford, perhaps. Push down the line for Soyuz. And uh, Janssen went flying in for that ball. And he's injured himself in the process. I think his studs get caught in the turf. Looks like it. Jarred his knee. I think he'll be okay. That's his ankle, actually. Seems to be the problem, but seems to be flexing the foot okay. Fans have really taken to Pontus Janssen since coming in. He said all the right things. Impressive performances. Maxime Collin against Berardi, trying to get on the outside and managing it. Too many back for Leeds. Cleared by Kamar Roof. Phillips. Roof. Over the top it goes, and Sacco does his best to get there and has got there. Brentford claiming the ball went out. He's got options here. Ailing is one of them. Luke Ailing! Well, if anybody deserves a goal, it is him. Sacco does brilliantly to keep it in play. Well, Brentford there claiming the ball had gone out. In the end, it mattered not because Luke Ailing, when he eventually dug out the shot, fired wide. Brentford are making a change here. Josh McEachran is uh, being thrown on by Dean Smith. There's the effort on the outside of the boot from Ailing. Yanaris has gone off for Brentford, replaced by Josh McEachran, and Leeds are making a change also here. And Liam Bridcut coming on for him. So Phillips going off. And Bridcup coming on. I actually thought that in recent minutes Phillips was just beginning to find his range. He had had a quiet game prior to that, admittedly, but uh, Gary Monk deciding to mix things up in the middle of the park. Both managers making a change. Egan. McEachran. His first touch was to gift it back to Dallas. Collant finding Woods. He's scampering after the ball. There's Tom Field. Tied it up by Ailing. There is uh, Brid Cutts. It's a long drawn out transfer in the summer. He was on loan with the club last season. It's like a never ending story. With Leeds trying to get Brid Cut here permanently, and Egan goes flying through the back of Kamar Roof. Referee's going for his pocket. Well, Egan will be nervous here as to what colour it will be. I suspect it will only be yellow. Drinks, drinks. Oh, he's taking his time over it. 
will only be yellow for John Egan. And we have calls from the Leeds fans. The colour to be red, but it is only yellow, but comes flying through the back. With Kimar Roof jumps into it as well. Yellow deemed sufficient. Bridcutt, Baradi. Has he got the right ball in? The answer is no, because Harley Dean was well placed. Bridcutt. And Sacco into things here. Roof and Dakara in the centre. Dallas getting in there as well. This is Ailing. Challenge going in from field. Ailing against Soyuz. Well, Ailing has got the beating of it. He's done well. And Soyuz wins the second battle. This is Hadi Sacco. Ailing against Sawyer's part three here. Sacco down the line. Snuffed out by Field once more. As we move into the last 15 minutes of this one at Allen Road and the deadlock yet to be broken. Plenty of huff and puff from both teams, but not enough at the end of it. only drawn two games at home this season Leeds United six wins three defeats this would be a very good point from a Brentford point of view on loan from Swansea now Janssen Brent cuts desperate to make an impression it's gone long and it's caught Hadi Sacco offside Brentford, I think, will be making another change pretty soon. Silly Kai Kai appears to be uh, getting ready for action. Hearing that Lassa Vibe is the man to be withdrawn when that happens. And uh, Marcus Antonsen is ready to come on for Leeds as well. Sawyer's chasing after this, Bartley. And try and shield the ball away from him. He's done it well. Brid cuts. Gifted back to Woods. Sawyers and Marcus Antonson will be coming on here at first Brentford make their change Sonny Kai Kai on loan from Crystal Palace coming on to replace Lassa Vibe and Leeds will make a change of their own and it's Suleiman Dukara making way and Marcus Antonsen 
He's coming on who many people felt would have started the game today in the absence of Chris Wood. And the manager's deciding to make changes at exactly the same point of the match. Sully Kai Kai. Hopefully will inject a bit of life into Brentford going forward. Last Antonsen will be hoping to uh, carry a bit of a goal threat here for Leeds. And the ball was almost squeezed through to him as well. I had Isako. Collar. Woods. Need some support here, Ryan Woods. Sent on his way by Berardi. Sully Kai Kai. Caught late. By Ronaldo Vieira. And a goal off a set piece. Might be the best chance that both of these sides have of winning the game. An open play, they've struggled in front of goal. Kai Kai. Trying to shake off the challenge of Bridcut, standing up the cross. It's safety first from Ailing. Brentford corner. Nobody really gets attacking this in a Brentford shirt, and Ailing going to flick it behind. Woods takes. Smuggled behind for another corner, this time by Janssen. Into the final ten minutes at Allen Road. And Janssen's got eyes on it. Actually knees that one behind. It's a flat delivery. Where will it drop? Dallas will get there ahead of Sawyers. Goal kick conceded. Oh, it's not a game that will live long in the memory. Johan Barbe will be the next player to be introduced by Brentford into the match. about to be held at home. Yellen's throw. Antonsen, Roof. Ailey. Trying to switch the play to the left. Read by Maxime Collat. He will chase down his own header here. Can't quite get that. Here comes that Brentford change. And Tom Field will depart. And Johan Barbe will come on, so that will be like for like. And Barbe, who made rather a delayed start to the campaign after a knee injury in pre season, and sent on for the last eight minutes or so in this. But uh, Tom Field will be pleased with the way that he's dealt with Hadi Sacco because that would have been quite a daunting prospect for him as a 19 year old playing against someone who is lightning quick like that. But he's kept Sacco relatively quiet, not been able to do a great deal of damage today, Hadi Sacco. Uh, Brentford have been solid and resolute. And there's one aspect that Dean Smith, I'm sure, will be delighted about. Whereas for Gary Monk, especially at home in front of a big crowd, 
will be aware of his team's shortcomings today, no question. They have lacked a spark, a cutting edge, a bit of creativity. This is Soyuz. And Brentford have committed plenty forward into the box here. Soyuz steers one in, flicked into the middle. Hogan is there, the flag is up on him. He's always there, though, isn't it? Whenever it drops in the six-yard box, Hogan is there, trying to sniff out a chance. And that's why there'll be a lot of attention on him when the January transfer window opens. This is Berardi for Leeds. One goal for either side now surely would be enough to win it. Dallas. Marking cross. Away by Barbe. Roof. Asking rather a lot of Hadi Sacco. Very nearly knocked it onto the roof. Very frustrating afternoon for Gary Monk so far. The important thing at this point is not to get beat, I guess. Just keep the run going. Leeds go to Preston next on Boxing Day, and then it's a trip to Aston Villa. Brentford home to Cardiff on Boxing Day. And Norwich at home on New Year's Eve. And this game drifts towards its conclusion. Five minutes to go. And, uh, not much. So we get us into the Christmas spirit about here. Kyle Bartley. Looking for the run of Antonson. He'll get there ahead of Harley Dean. There's nobody in the box as yet. Support coming forward now. Antonson delivers into the middle. And again, that's a Scrooge like Brentford defence. Able to see the ball away to safety. Big roar from the crowd as Bartley fires it long. Too long a fancy for Hadi Sacco. Two of the Leeds fans beginning to head home. Not exactly been a Christmas treat, has it, for them? Basically, I'm running out of ways to say this has been a poor game. It's just late on the line. That has not been good. Berardi. Bread cuts. Ailing. Bread cut again. Woods trying to pinch it from him. Sacco. And now Ailing. Ailing with a crossing opportunity. Snuffed out. By McEachern. Anywhere will do for him. Brentford determined to hang on to the point that they currently have. Leeds wants all three, though. Here's Vieira. Berardi. Dallas. Kimar Roof. Sacco puts his foot down on the accelerator. Paddy Sacco played it low. Deflects away. It's a corner for Leeds. 
Puts the afterburners on here, Hadisako. Drives it into the middle. And away it goes for the corner. Ryan Woods, by the way, sporting a nice cut above his eye. Teased in by Dallas, Bartley! Kyle Bartley surely has won it for Leeds! And hardly any time for Brentford to respond. A cruel blow for the Bees who are stung right at the end. Teased in by Dallas, and it's a free header for Kyle Bartley. And Leeds will finish at Ellen Road in this calendar year with a win and maintain their place in the top six. Difficult to tell where a goal was coming from. But Kyle Bartley has found one, and surely Leeds United will win this game. Leeds United won, Brentford nil. There'll be four minutes added on at the end of this. But Brentford have been stubborn all day, but their resistance broken right at the death. And it's Sacco looking to tear forward. Fell over the ball. have Brentford got it in them to get a point that on balance you have to say they would deserve from this but Kyle Bartley comes up trumps late on and his third goal in Leeds Colours four minutes added on and a rousing rendition of Marching on together now at Allen Road. Hogan chasing after this, swept away by Green. And I have to say as well, the Leeds fans have been incredibly patient. They haven't turned on their team despite their shortcomings today. And they really have stayed with them. In previous seasons, under different regimes, it might have been a different story, but... There is a belief in this part of West Yorkshire that they can do something this year. It's always a good sign when you don't play your best but can still win. And uh, they are enjoying themselves. I'm sure the majority of them wouldn't have expected Leeds to win this game today in the performance they've turned out. I don't care about that now. It is an intimidating place to play at. But uh, for the most part, Brentford kept them quiet. One lapse in concentration might have cost them to Sully Kai Kai. Might break for Sawyers. And towards Hogan. Kai Kai continued the run. Collan coming into this. And Berardi with the block. Brentford corner. Leeds are not there yet. Sawyers pings it into the feet of Hogan, who tried to lever it through for Sully Kai Kai. Well, is there a late twist here? The ball eventually comes back from the crowd. And at a time at Ellen Road, Leeds 1, Brentford 0. But Johan Barbe will be hoping for a good delivery here. Really whipped in and seen away. Andres Bieland was hurtling towards it, but Pontus Janssen managed to push it away from goal. Barbe's throw in towards Dean, got a flick, shot on the turn, just over the top from John Egan. Had to have a second look there. It's a centre half with a striker's turn. Great instinct from John Egan. And just over the top it goes. 
Brentford inches away from perhaps getting themselves a point from this game. But it would appear that all three are staying here in West Yorkshire. Berardi will be in no hurry at all to take this lead throw. Vieira smashes it clear. Well, after back-to-back uh, -back wins, seemingly on an upward trend. Brentford heading for defeat here. Leads his promotion charge.